In the chapter permutations and combinations, there is an important relation which is NCR plus NCR minus 1 equals N plus 1 CR. So let's see how we can prove this relation. Now we know that the formula for NCR equals factorial N divided by factorial N minus R into factorial R. Right? So this is the formula what we know. The right hand side instead of N, there is n plus 1 right so wherever n is there you replace it by n plus 1 so n plus 1 cr would be n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 minus r factorial into r factorial so what has been done wherever n is there it's been replaced by n plus 1 so now let us see how we can prove lhs equals rhs so using the general expression for combinations ncr equals factorial n divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial plus here it is n factorial divided by n minus so instead of r we have r minus 1 so it's going to be n minus r plus 1 factorial into r minus 1 factorial now let us observe here you have r factorial here there is r minus 1 factorial so let me convert this r factorial to r minus 1. So we know that I can write r factorial as r into r minus 1 factorial. Now similarly, here we have n minus r plus 1 factorial. So n minus r plus 1 factorial can be written as n minus r plus 1 into n minus r factorial. Right? Because every time the value goes on reducing by 1. right? So it's going to be r factorial as r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 and so on. right? So the entire list of multiplications would be r minus 1 factorial. And similarly here n minus r plus 1 factorial would be n minus r plus 1 into n minus r into n minus r minus 1 and so on. So the remaining terms would be n minus r factorial. So let me replace these two here in this expression. So you have n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. r factorial is written as r into r minus 1 factorial plus n factorial. So n minus r plus 1, I'm going to write it as n plus 1 minus r. I'm just interchanging plus 1 and minus r. So it's going to be n plus 1 minus r into n minus r factorial into r minus 1 factorial. Now what is common? We observe that factorial n is common. So n factorial is common for both the expressions here. And then you have n minus r factorial and r minus 1 factorial. So take it outside. So taking these three terms common. So we have n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r minus 1 factorial. So within the brackets, we have 1 plus r plus 1 divided by n plus 1 minus r. So this would be equal to, so this term remains the same, n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r minus 1 factorial. So taking LCM, we would have r into n plus 1 minus r, right? So multiply 1 with this term, you get n plus 1 minus r. Multiply 1 with r, you get plus r. r and r gets cancelled. So now what happens? We are multiplying n plus 1 with n factorial. So it's going to be n factorial into n plus 1. Denominator n minus 1 with r so it's going to be so denominator r minus 1 factorial with r so r minus 1 factorial into r into similarly n minus r factorial into n plus 1 minus r so what is n factorial into n plus 1 it's going to be n plus 1 factorial what is r minus 1 factorial into r it is r factorial what is n minus r factorial into n plus 1 minus r. So it's going to be n plus 1 minus r factorial. And what is this equal to? 
it's equal to n plus 1 CR and this is equal to RHS. So we have proved that the LHS is equal to RHS, a very simple proof. So to view all the other videos for class 11 mathematics and physics, do click on the i button and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.